All right, let's talk about customizing our YouTube channel page. So this is the page that people will come to when they land on your channel. And we want to kind of treat it like a homepage of a website. We want to kind of showcase what kind of types of videos you make, what types of content you put out and organize in a way where if they're scrolling through it, it both showcases what you do and what types of videos you do. And it also is a way for someone to guide or choose how they want to start watching your videos. If uh, you can create multiple entry points, maybe they start watching a playlist. Maybe they see one of your playlists is displayed on your channel page and start watching content that way. But it kind of displays a nice variety of what your videos are, what your best videos are, and where people can start watching. And also if they want to subscribe to your channel. So we got a couple options of things that we can display on our channel homepage. And we're going to jump through all of them and explain what each one is. So we're on our channel page right now. The bulk of what I tend to do on channel pages is using playlists to create structure, create groupings, create categories, and display individual playlists on the homepage so that we see the most recent videos towards the left. And as we upload new videos and add them to the playlist, the channel homepage stays fresh. So people see new contents up and it moves the older content down to the right, which uh, you can scroll through to see. In another video, uh, which you can check out right here, we talk about everything with how to build playlists and how to organize videos inside this playlist. Uh, so you can check that video out. And then we want to build those playlists out and use them as building blocks to create our channel homepage layout. Now, if you're just creating your channel and this is part of a series of of setting up a brand new channel from scratch, you're not gonna have a lot of videos, if any videos at all. So what I like to do is plan out what types of videos and what kind of categories those videos are going to fall into, start building out the playlists. And then as I get a couple videos in them, I'll start adding those playlists to the main channel page. I don't like to add too many playlists that don't have the full six videos that can fill out the entire row because I just don't want to have a bunch of playlists with like one or two videos. So someone's scrolling and it's like, huh, a lot of playlists, but like not a lot of videos. So I'll start off with some playlists that can kind of capture a lot of videos that I have. And then as I get more content on the channel, I'll add more playlists that do deeper dives into more specific topics. All right, so let's jump into customizing this. So if we click on the customize channel button, assuming we're logged in to our uh, one of our manager accounts and have access to this section, oh, we can come up here and see at the top all of the options that we have. So kind of two ideas here. One is what video do you want to feature at the top of the page? And we have a choice. We can either add a channel trailer and this will play for people who are not subscribed. So good video to have to tell people what your channel is about. And then you could also feature one of your past videos for returning subscribers. Subscribers. This one is good to feature either some of your like best videos or putting your most recent video up here. There isn't a way to auto update this to display your most recent video. So you would have to come in here and manually change it. You could either do that, do a good top video that's sort of evergreen and not really relevant. Or it's also good to add like a time relative video if you're running a contest or you have a promotion or something that you want to get more attention on. But again, that only shows for people who are currently subscribed. Anyone who's not subscribed is going to see your channel trailer. All right, so the meat of the section, we want to build out our channel homepage by adding sections. Now, as you can see, my thing's actually faded out because I already have 12 sections on here and 12 is the limit of what you can have. So I'm gonna take a section off because I was adding some stuff playing with uh, in the previous video. And now we can see I can add some stuff again. So if we click on add section, we'll see the options that we have here. So main one, first one, we're gonna have videos and these are sort of gonna be like default categories. Uh, top one, on upload. So this is just literally going to play every video you upload in with the most recent video showing up first and then pushing all the other ones down. It's going to be exactly what you would see if you went to videos and you see your most recent uh, videos uploaded here. However, it will only show full videos. So it will not show shorts in this uploads feed where here it does show everything we uploaded, including shorts, but so it'll show your most recent full length uploaded videos. That's it. I like to have it just so people can kind of see, hey, what are the most recent videos just of everything I've put out? And also like how often are they posting videos? So you can kind of just see a cadence of like, are they frequent posters, infrequent posters, uh, stuff like that. Other section we could add popular uploads. So these are just gonna be, literally it's just gonna work backwards of like what videos of yours have the most views and then just display them with number one viewed video here and then work its way down based on view count. Next section that we can add are short videos. So this is just gonna be similar to uploads, but now it's just gonna be short videos. So whatever your most recent short video that was uploaded is going to be displayed on the left and then it'll work its way down as you add videos. I'd also, you see it has a little bit nicer display that accommodates the short format where it actually does display it in a more vertical format and it has the shorts icon up here to indicate these are short. 
starts. Then other section we can add is live now. So if you do live streams, you can add a section that'll show what streams are currently live now, and then also past live streams. So something that was streamed live, but is now not live and it is past stream, that section will show up and then also upcoming live stream. So if you schedule a live stream with you know, date and time, it'll show what's coming up in the future. And as you can see here, if you have these sections, but you don't have anything active there, like I have upcoming live streams in here, but it would be after this section, uh, there's nothing here. So if you don't have any videos that meet that criteria and you still add that section, it's not gonna show an empty section. It just won't show it at all. So that stuff more pertains, obviously, if you are a channel that does live streams. If you don't really do live streams, then don't worry about it. Next up, we have playlist options. So I covered this in the playlist video, but just to recap, single playlist would be displaying. We pick one playlist and we display those videos in that playlist and it displays in whatever order you have your playlist uh, settings set to. And as we can see here, that's how these videos are all laid out and organized. And if you have your description in your playlist, that text will show up here as well, along with the title of the playlist. So yeah, these are great. This is sort of the backbone of how I organize uh, videos just based on categories or series or whatever kind of topic that I have a lot of videos that would fit into that broad topic. That's how I like to organize playlists and then display them on the channel page. And other thing that you could do is created playlists. So I went over this in the playlist video, but basically it'll just similar to the upload option where it just shows everything you've uploaded. This will just show all of your playlists that you have created. So if you have a lot of playlists, that you've made and you want to showcase them, you can use that. Kind of the better feature if you have a lot of playlists organized into some topic or some logic behind it is multiple playlists. This one will actually let you select the playlist you want to display and you can control the order. So let's say you wanted to do some free online course and you had the topics organized into playlists and then the individual videos relating to that topic were in each playlist. You could organize that here and put it in the correct order of how someone should watch the content. That's kind of the best use case that comes to mind of why you would want to display multiple playlists in a specific order. And then uh, two other features that we got is you could display channel subscriptions and featured channels. So subscriptions, if you add this section, it'll just show a list of the channels that you are subscribed to. I don't need to have that displaying. And then the other one, if you just want to display certain channels, you can choose featured channels and then you would just add the link to the channel or start searching and find the channel that you're looking for. So like I have a couple other channels from different projects. So those are displayed here and you could also customize the order that they display in. And as we can see, it just shows up as a couple icons, number of subscribers and a subscribe button if the person's not subscribed to their channels. So if you have a partnership or you're, you know, kind of cross promotion with someone or you just want to feature some other channels, this is how you can link out and feature other channels. And now with most of these sections, playlist is going to use the title and info of the playlist. But for the other ones like feature channels, if you click edit, you can adjust the section title and call it whatever you want. And that applies to most of these sections that are not playlists or are not using one of the one of the default options like no settings you can adjust for uploads. So once you've got your sections added that you want to have for your channel homepage, two things. One, if you want to adjust the order of them, you can just click the handles on the side, drag and drop, uh, place in whatever order you want. And then two, once you're done with everything, you do need to hit publish up here at the top in order to make sure that your changes are saved and it goes live on your channel homepage. So that's customizing your YouTube channel in a nutshell, two things to keep in mind, what video do you want to display at the top? And then how do you want to organize your sections? Be sure to check out the other video that I did on how to create playlists, because that's really going to be the backbone of how you're going to organize your videos once you start accumulating a lot more uploads and how you want to display them for people to land on your channel page. I mentioned earlier, this is a video that is part of a series of creating a brand new YouTube channel from scratch. So be sure to click on the playlist link that I'm going to have right here, where you can check out all the other videos related to the series. If you have any questions, please let me know down in the comments. I would love to uh, understand, you know, am I leaving some stuff out? Anything that is still confusing? Any questions you got, let me know. I will address them in the comments. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.